I asked you a question. Where'd you get that phone? It's none of your business. I'm not to make it my business. It belongs to a friend of mine. Ricky! Get out of my face, Where's man. Amy? Ian, calm down. I don't know any Amy. Answer chick. me! Ian, stop it. You're gonna kill him! Okay, okay. I found it, all right? I found the phone. No, I haven't found Paige or any clues to where she might have gone. You either? All right, well, keep looking, Victor. Someone has to know where she is. People don't just disappear in a thin air, do they? Now, come on, you, you have to tell us now. There are four of us, but five chairs. So someone's got to be coming back with us, right? Someone's going to die. People die every day. Right, but th this is different, isn't it? It's going to be someone who's close to one of us. You know, sometimes you're too smart for your own good, Rafe. Right, so who is it? Who's going to die? You're lying. Everything out of your mouth is a no, lie. I'm She's not. poisoned no, you. Valerie, yes, she no, did. No, no, no. Allison, stay down. Jack, get off of me. Stay down. Get off of me. Let me call an ambulance. Come on. Jack, don't. Stay down. Don't. Found this phone. I think you took it from us. Ian, Where's you're Amy? gonna hurt him. Break your neck. He's my brother. Whoa, 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 Ian. What's going on here? Amy is missing. This clown's got her phone. You do the math. I keep telling this lunatic that I don't know where his girlfriend is, and I found the phone. Let's just back up, okay? Gabby, this is your brother. Yes, and I believe him. Well, I don't. Ian, he should have turned the phone in, but he would never do anything to hurt your friend. And how do we know that? Wait, wait, wait. Let's just think about this for a minute, okay? Look, if he'd done something to Amy, why would he hang on to her phone? Why wouldn't he? Well, that would make him about the dumbest mugger in the world, wouldn't it? Well, that's my point. You know what? Go to hell. Hey, Good. hey, let's just concentrate on finding Amy, all right? Where'd you find that phone? In the park. If you're lying, hey, just gone. let's let's take a breather, okay? Come on. Yeah. Isn't it possible that Amy just lost her phone? No. Why not? That happens all the time. She's blind, Kevin. It's her lifeline. She's probably dead in some ditch. Wait, whoa, whoa. It's being a little dramatic, don't you think? Maybe so, but I don't trust this kid. Fine, don't trust him. All I'm saying is that there could be a, a logical explanation. Yeah. Now your friend Paige, you haven't heard from her, have you? No, but what does that have Maybe to do? Maybe he has something to do with that as well. Well, that's making quite a leap, don't you think? Is it? Two people have disappeared. They're just missing. Does it make you wonder? Okay, okay. If you, if you can't tell us who's gonna die, can, can you at least tell us when it's gonna happen? You'll know. We'll know. What is that supposed to mean? It means that you'll all be helping this person cross over. Oh, I'm not sure I'm ready to do that. I think I could do that, if that's the job. All right. What? No more questions. You know all you need to know for now. Yeah, right. Except who's gonna die, and if it's someone that's close to one of us? Rafe, my boy, it is not easy being an angel. 
The jobs we do are very tough, but sometimes we're called upon to make it easier for people. Well, I'm saying, if it's a friend, then I just think that... Okay, that's enough. You should all be concentrating on getting back down again and covering yourselves because you've been missing long enough as it is. Good, because it's just way too heavy. Also, remember what I told you. Every choice you make affects other lives. So make that choice carefully. Whoa. Well, are you saying that we could have something to do with this death? Don't start putting words in my mouth, Rafe. Well, what are you saying? Are, are, are you saying that we, we could stop it? Is that it? What? You have all been allowed to be human again. And as any other human, you can't possibly know the future. You live the time you have. And you try to complete your journeys the best you can. And that's it. So, good luck. Well, it's just you and me now, Ed. What is it you're not telling me? Are you sure you really want to know? <laughs> it hurts too much. Okay, look, buddy, help us on the way, okay? Just, just hold on, Valerie, okay? <laughs> I just wanted to make a family with you. That's all. That's all, okay, John. Just look, just save your strength. Okay, you gotta pray through this, Valerie. Okay, you gotta pray. Just pray. Yeah, 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 check out now, Valerie. Valerie, some gunshot victims? Yeah. I've applied a pressure to the wound, but she's lost a lot of blood. Mm. What happened? Uh, uh, Valerie, she, she brought a gun here. Why? Uh, she wanted to kill me, but she got shot instead accidentally. What's her rate? 148 and 30. All right, let's get her out of here. We're losing her. Right, let's go. Come let's on, go. let's go. Come on, Valerie, you hold on, all right? Come on. Okay, let's okay, go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Two, three. All right, Frank, I got you. All right. Here we go. Okay, can we come? Who is that jerk anyway? And why does everybody in this town blame me when something goes down? You stole that woman's phone. I told you I didn't steal it. I found it. And kept it? I was gonna give it back. Why did you tell me Amanda Barrington gave it to you? Because I knew that you were gonna think that I was lying. I would say I found the phone, and, and, and then you'd give me that look like, yeah, right. Do you ever just say, yeah, I was wrong? No, not when I didn't do anything. God, you're never gonna change. I don't even know why you came back here. I came back here to be with my family, to be with you, Gigi. You know, when I was locked up like, like some animal, all I thought about was getting out, being part of my family again. You know, but you're right. Maybe I made a mistake. I should have known I couldn't get a fresh start here. You can, and we want you to. But you've got to earn people's trust, Ricky. Yo, how am I supposed to do that, huh? W when everybody thinks the worst even before I open my mouth. That is not true. I mean, even, even Mom, Emilio, you, Gigi. The minute that I set foot in this town, everybody was wondering what I was up to. Well, you know what? I'm gonna do everybody a favor. I'm out of here. Ian, I don't have any reason to believe that Gabby's brother is a serial killer. Two women are missing. He had Amy's phone. But I don't know the page is actually missing. Frankly, I think she just took off and didn't say anything. Why would she do that? Long story short, Lucy started poking around in her past, and then I jumped on the bandwagon. I think Paige just didn't want to stick around for an inquisition. Well, that's some questions for Amy as well. Guess those two ladies had some secrets. Yeah, you could say that. I found Paige's passport. It expired years ago. She came here from England on an expired passport? Yeah, well, with security the way it is nowadays, that doesn't seem possible, does it? Something's not right here. I don't know about Paige. But I'm pretty sure that Amy didn't leave by choice. Now, he said he found the phone in the park. I'm gonna check it out. Oh, their disappearance couldn't be connected. Or could they? Man, does it feel great to be back? You know, I could, I could kiss this ground. <laughs> I'm glad to be back, too, but we got even more problems than before. Yeah, 
and even more pressure. Oh, jeez, don't the two of you guys ever lighten up? Look, Casey, I know I've said this before, but we have got to make sure that nobody finds out how we're connected. Or we're all gonna get yanked back. Yeah, and this time we've been away isn't gonna help. I don't know how I'm going to explain a missing shift at the hospital. Oh, God. And Kevin's probably been wondering where I've been. Look, if we're gonna get yanked back, it's gonna be because of you guys, all these people you got involved with. We've all got damage control to do, Casey. Nope, not me. See, I got no attachments. Ed said someone close to one of us is going to die. He didn't say except for Casey. He didn't have to. He wasn't talking to me. How do you know that? Because there's no one close to me. <laughs> Nobody cares about me. There's no one I care about, and I'm keeping it like that. I'm out of here. <clears throat> yeah, I should get going, too. Wait. You don't seem at all interested in who's going to die. Who's going to fill that fifth chair? Well, like Ed said, people die every day. But not someone close to one of us. Look, Ed made it very clear he was not going to tell us. I accept that. Just like that. All right, Amy. What are you getting at? I think you know who's going to die. Would you say something like that? You were the only one who said to Ed, yeah, I'll act as someone's guide to the other side. You almost sounded anxious to be the one. I think I know why you're here. To take Kevin Collins back with you. You really are crazy. No. You begged to come down here and spend this time with him. But that's not all you wanted. You wanted to spend eternity with him. Just because you're blind, you think that gives you the right to make such outrageous statements. When I lost my sight, Paige, I didn't lose my ability to see the truth. Goodbye, Amy. Your friend's in trouble. Allison? Yes. Um, uh... No. She's not the one coming back with us. She... <laughs> no, she can't be. I want her to live a long and happy life. Maybe she will, Riff. Maybe she will. What is that supposed to mean? It's all I can tell you right now. No, and you know what? It's never enough. And don't stand there and tell me that everything happens for a reason. This is something I want to know. I want to know right now what is going to happen to Allison. I can't show you her future, Rave. Maybe I can show you something. What's happening to her right now? Call the OR. Call the blood bank. We need four units of O and egg. All right, one, two, three. Okay, get a BP, start dopamine, try trade to systolic of 100. Frank. Hey, Frank, how is she? Oh, we got her in time, right? How is she? Oh, she's still alive, so there's a chance. Oh, thank oh, God. Yeah, I gotta see her. Hey, Jamal, look, I need to ask you some questions about what happened. Now, we know Valerie escaped from the psychiatric ward. I shot her. No. Jamal, no, Jamal, no you didn't. No, no, listen, you didn't. It was an accident. We walked in, and, and Valerie had a gun on Allison. Yeah. That's what happened. She was threatening you? Yeah, she was, uh, like, blaming me for all of her problems, and she said that she was gonna take the one person that, that Jamal loved the most away from Yeah, her. we heard her, too. We walked in when she was holding the gun. We tried to get the gun away from her, that's when the Detective, shot went Detective, it was an it was accident. Complete it was. Complete accident. All right, all right. Is this true, Jamal? Jamal. in v -tip. Come on. Get the paddles. Charging. Oh my God. Valerie tried to kill Allison. And now Valerie might die, so it, is she the one? Is she gonna fill the fifth chair? No. No, Valerie's taking another journey. But this will affect Allison. Her destiny? And yours. How? Well, that's for you to decide, kid. You want to go right back down there now? Do it. Or I'll grant you a wish you can stay up here in heaven. If that's what you truly want. 
sorry if I've been one of those people who's jumped to conclusions about you. I just worry because I love you. And I don't want anything to happen that takes you away from me again. Yeah, I know. <sighs> They're paging me. It's OK. No, it's not OK. We have a lot to talk about. I am not letting you leave like this. OK. We'll talk. Sorry, Gigi. I got nothing more to say. I don't belong here. And this is my ticket out of here. Ricky Barrington. Casey! Hey! Where's the fire, Frank? <laughs> I was about to drive off when I saw you across the street. Where have you been? Look, man, I'm back from my ship. That's all you need to worry about. Uh, ease off the smart mouth, okay? Whatever. Yeah, uh uh, uh. You can listen to me. I checked with a friend of mine from Children's Services. Aw, oh, sweet Frank, you want to adopt me? <laughs> you disappeared from the system ten months ago. Where did you go? I died and went to heaven. Not funny. Yeah, well, neither is being treated like a child. Look, I'm an adult now, okay, Pops? Yeah, I turned 18. You were supposed to report to a shelter that was going to get you set up. So I decided I could take care of myself. What's with this drill session? I was worried, okay? I care about you. Don't, okay? I, I don't want you caring about me. What? Look, I'm only working at your place and crashing at your pad because I have to, all right? But I don't care about you, and I don't want you or anybody else giving a damn about me. You got it? Sorry, but you don't get to decide who I care about. Now, look, I've got to go. Find a, a warmer coat. There's a storm coming. Man, just leave me alone. Start caring about me, Frank. Or something bad could happen to you. I know I dropped my phone here somewhere. Amy? What are you doing here? What happened? Are you all right? I'm not hurt, Ian. If that's what you're worried about. I'm just looking for my phone. Your, your phone? You lost your phone? Yeah, around here, I think. Well, some kid found it, and I, I got it now. Oh, good. Good. No, no, no. It's it's not good. I almost tore, tore his head off. Why? Here. Why? Well, because you were missing. You didn't show up for work, and he had your phone. I thought maybe you were hurt or in a ditch or something. Well, as you can see, I'm fine. <sighs> okay, good. Good. Maybe now you can tell me where you were. No. As a matter of fact, I won't tell you where I was. I think you owe me an explanation. I'm your colleague, Ian, not your wife. And that's a good thing. And I second that. Now, give me my phone. In a minute. You're being childish. And you're being evasive. And it's not working. Now, where were you? I think I know why you're here. To take Kevin Collins back with you. You want to spend eternity with him. you're back. Yes. Well, I thought you left town. No. I'm still very much here. Well, it sounds like a pretty clear case of self-defense to me. Now, I got guys at the crime scene, so if all the physical evidence checks out, I don't foresee a problem for you. Oh, great. Thank Thanks you. a lot. Thanks. Right? Yeah. Dr. Trent Gates to the pharmacy. Uh, Jamal. Listen, if... Hey. How is she? she? She's going into surgery, right? How's she doing? There was too much internal bleeding, Jamal. What? Uh, she was trying to hang on. Uh, it's gotta be something you can do. Jamal, I'm sorry. We did everything we could to save her. Sorry. Not right now, okay? Just, just leave me alone, Allison. Why is this happening? It's a plan for everything, Rafe. You knew that when you chose to go back down. The question is, knowing what you know now, that that fifth chair is empty, soon to be filled by someone you know. You have the guts to keep on living as they do. Stay tuned for scenes from the next Port Charles.
secrets. Or Charles, how did you get into the United States on an expired passport? You don't belong here. Olivia, I'm exactly where I belong. You spoke to my father? Want to make sure you were all right. You had no right! 